This is how to install a helical cutter head into a six inch jointer. Well, I'm specifically going to be installing a Lux Cut helical cutter head into a rigid six inch jointer. The instructions in this video will be broadly the same no matter what sort of cutter head you want to install and no matter what sort of six inch jointer you have. Because this is a generic six inch jointer that was pumped out in mass by a factory in Taiwan under many many different brand names, including, but not limited to, Jet, Grizzly, Powermatic, and Carbatec. To find out if your jointer is one of the jointers that is shared, it's basically the same as this jointer, there's a very large list of brand names and model names in the description below this video. Even if your jointer is not a part of that list, I suspect the instructions in this video will not be too far off of what you need to do to upgrade the cutter head in your jointer. Let's get started. The tools you'll need for this upgrade are, and this may vary depending on your specific jointer, a Phillips screwdriver, a 14 millimeter wrench, a three jaw small gear puller, a three millimeter hex key, and an eight millimeter hex key, seen here in socket form. If you do not have a gear puller, at least in America, you can borrow one from your local auto parts store at no cost. Now onto step one. Remove the blade guard. It just lifts off after you remove the single retention screw. Remove the knob securing the fence, being careful not to drop the nut underneath. Remove the fence assembly. Don't drop it or you'll be very sad and probably have a broken foot. Loosen the two bolts holding the fence bracket in place with the aforementioned 8mm hex key and lift off the bracket. Remove the pulley guard at the rear of the jointer. Loosen the two set screws securing the cutter head pulley in place with a 3mm hex key. Remove the pulley. There should be no need to remove the belt first. The cutter head is held in by two long bolts, one at the front and one at the back. Remove them now with a 14 millimeter wrench. On this jointer, one of the bolts drops into the dust chute and then onto the floor, and the other bolt is captive against the stand. With the bolts removed, the cutter head and bearing blocks slide right out. I didn't even have to lower the in feeder out feed tables. Pull the bearing blocks off the old cutter head with a three jaw gear puller or pry bar if you're feeling frisky. They didn't put up much of a fight for me and came right off. If you're installing some other brand of cutter head that doesn't come with new bearings, at this point you'll have to pull the bearings off your old cutter head and swap them onto your new cutter head. Thankfully the Lux cut head comes with shiny new bearings pre-installed so I don't have to mess with that. To prevent damage to the carbide inserts and your hands, wrap the cutter head in something protective. I'm using masking tape here. Hammer the bearing blocks over the bearings on the new cutter head. Again, they didn't put up much of a fight and went on pretty easily. Slide the new cutter head in place. Reinstall and tighten the two bolts that hold the cutter head. And yes, you can do that fun thing now. Reinstall the old pulley. Make sure you don't forget the key. As you can see, I also upgraded to a link belt while I was in here to reduce vibration. While this is totally optional, I definitely do recommend it. Once the pulley is snugged back in place, tighten the two set screws. Reinstall the pulley belt guard. Reinstall the fence assembly bracket, trying to get the surface as level as you can with the outfeed table. Reinstall the fence with the knob. And finally, reinstall the blade guard. That knob on the bottom conveniently moves the tension spring for the blade guard, so you can just move that until it slots into place and you're good. Reinsert the retention screw when you're done. And just like that, it sounds awful. The new link belt I installed rubbed against the pulley guard, so I fixed it and then, it still didn't work. The outfit table was set too high, so I adjusted it to the proper height, and then it still sounded weird. The link belt was still rubbing, so I took out a link to shorten the belt a little bit, and then the jointer with its new cutter head finally worked beautifully. And just like that, your jointer should now be transformed. This was just an instructional video. If you'd like to know more of my thoughts on this Luxcut helical cutter head, that's a separate video. I'll link to it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful.